Hello, this is Artisan Tony, and in this video I want to talk about the 10 books of architecture by Vitruvius. This work is the only architectural treatise that has survived from antiquity, and it has been of great importance in the history of architecture. Have you ever contemplated why architecture matters? What role does it play in our daily lives and society at large? Why do we need architects and what skills do they bring to the table? Picture this, an architect, the maestro of design, stands at the crossroads of multiple disciplines. The architect's knowledge should branch out like a mighty tree with roots in various domains of learning. This wisdom is born from both practice and theory. Practice is the persistent engagement in hands-on work where raw materials are transformed according to the blueprint of a design. Theory, in contrast, empowers the architect to articulate and expound upon the artistry of design grounded in the principles of proportion architects who have strived to master the manual skills without the underpinning of scholarship have often found their efforts unrewarded. Similarly, those who have solely leaned on theories and scholarship have chased shadows, not substance. The architect who marries both knowledge and practice, however, is like a warrior, fully armed, reaching their goals swiftly and with authority in architecture. Uh, as in all things, two elements are crucial, the subject and the principle that gives it significance. The architect, therefore, should be well-versed in both. A perfect architect should possess a natural gift, be open to learning, be educated, adept with a pencil, have a solid grounding in geometry, be well-versed in history, philosophy, and music have a basic understanding of medicine, law, astronomy, and the theory of the heavens. Why, you may ask? Well, an educated architect leaves a lasting legacy not only in structures but also in treatises. Drawing skills enable the architect to instantly sketch designs that give life to proposed works. Geometry aids in planning buildings and their grounds, applying the square, the level, and the plummet. Optics helps to create a harmony of light within buildings. Arithmetic is the backbone for calculating costs and measurements, while complex issues of symmetry are resolved using geometrical theories and methods. In essence, a, a wide knowledge of history is essential um, because it provides a rich tapestry of past designs and architectural evolution. A deep understanding of philosophy helps architects to create buildings that reflect societal values and aspirations. In conclusion, architecture is more than merely designing buildings. It is a symphony of various disciplines that come together to create spaces that define our lives and our culture. The architect, therefore, is not just a designer, but a scholar, a philosopher, a historian, and a visionary, harmonizing aesthetics and functionality with the rhythm of society. So, the next time you, you marvel at a building, remember the symphony of skills that went into its creation. The architect, the conductor of this grand orchestra, has woven a tapestry of knowledge, practice, and theory to create a masterpiece that stands testament to the power of architecture. As we uh, delve deeper into the world of architecture, it's essential to acknowledge the roots of this art and science. Our understanding of architecture as we know it today is deeply influenced by the works of one man, Vitruvius. His seminal work, The Ten Books of Architecture, serves as the foundation for our modern architectural philosophy. Vitruvius emphasized the importance of balance, the harmonious blend of utility, durability, and beauty, which he termed as firmitas utilitas venustas. This triad is the essence of his teachings and continues to guide architects worldwide in creating structures that are not just aesthetically pleasing but functional and sturdy. His writings also highlight the architect's role as a scholar, 
historian, and visionary, reinforcing the idea that architecture is not merely about building structures, but about weaving the tapestry of human experience, knowledge, and innovation. So, as we appreciate the marvels of architecture around us, let's remember the wisdom of Vitruvius that continues to shape this incredible field, even today.